Alright guys, well, this is my 91 Camaro. Um, I'm wiring in some new LED headlights. And uh, it was pretty difficult to figure out the wiring for these headlights, so I thought I would uh, show you guys. Um, these headlights are cool. They have, uh, these three are low beams, the middle, or the round ones are uh, high beams, and then the halo on the outside is the daytime running light and you can wire it in to be a blinker as well. So lots of different uh, options and um, more than what the uh, factory wiring was able to give me so I had to put this all together. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like. So we've got the running lights light up the side marker and the front, this is this bulb is supposed to be down here, but it's up here just for now. So now, if I turn on my fog light, now I have my running lights. So it's the halo. Now if I go back here, and if I turn on the blinker, I get side marker blinker, I get my lower blinker, and I get the blinker in the halo. So if I come back here, turn off the blinker, and pull the low beams, I get a nice, uh, not great, but I get a pretty nice cutoff for the low beams. So this particular one on the left came to me like that. Uh, with that light out, so it should actually look like this. But uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna email them and uh, find out. I got them on Amazon, so I'll figure out if they can uh, replace them or not. Uh, hopefully they can. I mean, it's quite obvious it's it's burnout. But anyway, that's what the uh, low beams look like, and then I will pull the high beams or turn on the high beams. So actually, my fog light goes off. Because uh, I can't apparently have uh, fog lights on with the high beams on. But I might rewire that later. So there is the high beams. I have not taken this out for a drive yet. And as you can see, the little round ones are all on. So that's what it looks like. And I will show you how I wired it all up. So... These came with the headlights. Uh, they're just pigtails for uh, these. This is the headlight uh, connector itself. Um, these resistors I bought off Amazon. I put the ends on myself. Um, these are 50 watt 6 ohm resistors. Um, so those, I got uh, 8 of those total, not knowing how many I need. I need 2 for this. This is all for one side. So I need two. Um, this one is a spade that goes into the fog light. Uh, I made that. And then I made a uh, positive pigtail. I made a negative ground pigtail. And I made a, another pigtail. I forgot what that's for, but we'll find out when I put it all back together. Um, here is the factory wiring. So I had HIDs in here at one point. I'm not sure what I did a while ago, but I think I cut this. So anyway, either way, this green one is uh, high beam, the tan one is low beam, and the black one is ground. So that would be originally this one, which is the you know high and, uh, and low beam. Uh, this light, which was originally just high beams, is this harness here and it's got just a green one and a black one so that's high beam and uh, ground so this one I'm actually not going to use at all so I'm going to tuck it away this one I don't have fog lights in so I just decided to use the fog light harness which purple is hot black is ground so I've got that one um, and then I pulled this fog light out, or this uh, turn signal out from down here. And factory wiring is brown, 
for, let's see, yeah, brown was daytime running light, blue is a turn signal, black's ground. So I had already tapped into these. So basically, in between the brown and the black is this resistor. Okay, so I've got everything turned on. The high beams, low beams, uh, daytime running lights, which are running off the fog, and the blinker. It's all on. Uh, so the side marker, you can't see it, but it's not blinking. Nothing's blinking at the moment. So, let's run through this. So I'm going to put the negative uh, pigtail in negative here. I'm going to put the high beam pigtail over here on the green one, which is high beam. And I'm going to put the uh, low beam pigtail in the tan one. Low beam. Alright. Let's see. I'm going to put the harnesses, the leads on here. Okay, so red in this one, on this light, is high beam. So we want to go to high beam over here. Let's see, yellow on this light is low beam. So we want to go to low. And black is ground. There we go. So we grounded the low beam and that came on. Now, now we'll wire in the second one. Oh, the high beams are on as well. Uh, so we'll wire in the second one. Uh, we'll do the ground. We will wire in the uh, yellow, which is low beam. My broken low beam. And then red, which is high beam. All right, so that's the basic part of it. Now. Uh, the piece that fixes a lot of problems is this resistor. So I have, uh, looks like I have male spades on both ends. So we're going to tap into the high beam. And then we're going to ground that here. So that, that basically makes the car think that the old halogen bulb is still in there. Um, I don't understand the current draw and everything, but this will get really hot. I measured it at 240 degrees earlier uh, with my heat gun or my thermal sensing gun, and it, uh, yeah, it was it was way too hot to touch. Um, so anyway, let's keep going. So now uh, let's wire in the fog lights here. So I'm going to pull the fog, I'm going to plug, I cut this in half, a spade in half, so it fit in there nicely. Um, so I'll plug it into the positive, which is purple, uh, and then coming from the LED light, we've got, we've got the yellow, which is blinker, turn signal, and we've got the red one, uh, which is your daytime running light. So Plug that in, and with the uh, with the high beams on, it, the car is wired to not have the fog lights on with the high beams on. But I may change that later. So we'll plug in the other one to the other red red coming from the LED. So now we've got the blinker. So here's the blinker from down below. Uh, this yellow lead is tapped into the blue, which is the blinker. And I just want this one to blink, not this one. So I'm going to tap my blinker lead into the yellow coming off of the LED light. And then still not working because I don't have the resistor in yet. So these leads are long enough because I want to mount this resistor somewhere up here. Not sure where yet. 
but uh, these are tapped in so basically I'm putting the resistor in between the blue and the black so we will plug in this one and the blinker should start working there we go now I'm going to run through all the different variations of uh, light switching and we'll see how it all works Alright, everything's off, daytime running lights without fog, daytime running lights with fog, uh, low and high beams, low beams, turn signal, fog lights off, low beams off but daytime running lights still on, everything off but the turn signal, everything off. That is how it's all wired up. Um, still not sure where I'm going to mount these. I think I'm going to try and mount them right under here, but that's kind of difficult to get in there, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Um, not quite sure. They get really hot, so it's uh, it's you're supposed to mount them on some kind of steel somewhere, not plastic. So anyway, I hope you guys find that useful because um, it took me forever to figure all this out, and now I got to do the other side as well. I have it mostly done, but I was just working on this side. So uh, all right, hopefully this helps someone out.